Hi all, welcome back. Uh, in this section we're going to be looking at uh, how to create the about um, section of the page. Um, but we're going to do something to make our lives a little bit easier first. Um, so, if we go into the index file and we say uh, about section, let's create a section tags. Um, you see these section tags look familiar because we put the hero section within the section tags. I'm saying section a lot. Um, and all, all the all the next <laughs> few sections are going to be within section tags as well. So we can set shared properties all in one go rather than having to repeat ourselves all the time. So I'm going to save that. Going to go to styles. Um, and what we're going to do, we're going to, know, let's see, um, under container, we'll say shared um, section properties. Okay, I'll do. And we'll do section. And within here, we're going to, we're going to add all the properties that are being shared. So they're all going to have display of flex. And really we can get through quite a bit here, I think. Flex, direction, column. I'm going to do a default gap of 30 pixels between uh, content. As you can see, I've got a gap here of 10. So this will override this for the hero area because it, it, it comes afterwards. It does matter the order. Uh, we're going to set some padding of 20 pixels. Hmm. In fact, let's do 50 pixels top and bottom, 20 left and right. Yeah, let's do that. Width. Uh, 100 center of the container. Uh, we don't want it to overflow, so let's hide that. Uh, text align. We want it to justify by default. Actually, we want to give a line height of 2 rem. And I want to give it a min height of 100 viewport height, so it fills the screen. But that's a min height, not a not a set height, because the content might be uh, ex want to expand the height more. So we'll set the height to auto. I reckon that should do it. Uh, as you can see, that has actually filled the other section we've put in. Um, I know you can't see it, but... All right, let's move on to other common properties. So, section.content. So each, each section is going to have a div with a class of content in it like this. And then within there, we can put h1, about, P tags, put to uh, lorem something like 50, something like that. Uh, that's quite a lot, isn't it? Let's undo that. Uh, let's try 15. That'll do. Save. Go down here, you can see we've got all this text in here. That's just lorem dummy text, and I used emit just to randomly fill it in with text, but there you go. So within the section, all sections are going to have a content class, and within there, that's where you put all your content. So that is what we're targeting here. So what do we want to do there? We want to do a width of... 80% yep 
and then margin auto. If I do it right, there we go. That looks better. Right, what else can we do? Uh, section H1, as you can see, we've got a H1 in there. Each section is going to have their own heading, so we can do something there, can't we? Rather than keep repeating ourselves again, let's do um, text transform, uppercase. Uh, let's set a colour. I'm going to do an RGBA here. So I want it slightly transparent. Uh, to save. There it is. Uh, obviously we don't want it to be that small. So font size three rim and your text line again overriding what's in section um, do center um, and we'll set a margin to the bottom of that let's say 30 pixels yeah there we go so What else can we do? We can do section dot content p tags. I think actually in here, if we're going to do it this way, there we go. Right, um, looks pretty good like that. So let's just put a margin bottom of the whole thing of 30 pixels merging save there we go right i'm sick of this scrolling so let's sort that out so just before we do sort that out this is all the edge section properties so in each section apart from this one ooh. about yes let's get back to that so if we go back up to the menu the about we can take um we need to give it an id id equals content section one and if we grab this go up to here put it there save then when we hit the about button it takes us to the about part and there we have it that is pretty much the about section done and uh, it is responsive because we used a percentage on the width so all good but yeah we'll see you in the next one to do the the mission section which should <laughs> Should be a bit quicker. I'll see you there.